for the past few months I've been working on bringing balance to my life. So in this video I'll share the things that I've discovered and the things that are working for me. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is multitasking which doesn't exist in humans. Uh, the term multitasking came around in 1960s and it was used to describe computer's ability to do more than one thing at a time. When we do two things at the same time, we're actually shifting from one thing to another constantly which makes us think that we're multitasking but those constant shifts actually drain our mental energy resources. I've been researching on myself and for the past 20 days I've been recording every minute of my life, my emotions and my food. It seems very complicated and stressful but it's not, it's, it's actually the opposite. So the way I record my time is by using this app called A Time Logger. It's quick, simple and efficient and I would really recommend this to you. And the way I record my emotions is, well, first I used an app for that but now I do that by journaling every day. I journal my thoughts, how I feel and a bit about what's going on. I've been journaling for a while now. Uh, it wasn't actually for this. Uh, it actually helped me a lot in achieving some amount of mental clarity. So after 15 days of recording, I started observing my days with the help of my daily journal. And then I would see how much of what did I do that day in my time logger. And then I would set a certain amount for the things that led to a happy and fulfilled day. And I would eliminate or reduce the amount of things that cause me stress. Uh, or if I can't remove them, then I would find a better way to do it. Or I could set up another activity to reduce the effects of that stressful activity. It's just easy when everything is in front of you in, in the form of charts. And while doing all this, you have to keep in mind that the whole purpose of this is to bring happiness, simplicity and balance in your life. You would also want to focus on the acceptance of what you see in those charts. Don't stress about it, don't try to make quick changes. Take your time and do it in the most comfortable way you can. Because stressing about it would just defeat the whole purpose of the activity. Stress itself is a very interesting topic. When you feel threatened by a certain situation, your body prepares to handle the emergency. It's also called the fight or flight response. Quick energy is needed so the liver releases extra sugar, uh, fat and protein start converting into sugar, your body's natural painkillers and endorphins are secreted and the surface blood vessels constrict to reduce bleeding in case of injury. That was all for temporary stress, the emergencies. But the permanent stress can do a lot of damage mentally and physically. So our goal is to eliminate the permanent stress by deeply observing and solving the causes of it. And I think journaling and calculating time and emotions makes it way easier to solve the problem. So that's it for the video. If you're interested in watching more, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram.